Do you old jokes and you're all laughing at me? Ah, uh, but you did old, right? And they laughed. So please, if you have heard this before, no, no, see, we are in tough times. See, comedians now, see, we are not like the normal people who can't just. Hmm. Rose. <laughs> How are you able to focus though? <laughs> you know, like we are not like the musicians who do virtual shows and then they, they will be performing to computers and cameras. We, when you can't just, we want you to laugh, okay? And when you laugh, you feel like, okay, it's going fine. But we cannot do those virtual shows, those Facebook live shows, we can't. You'll be performing and Mal and Matia will be selling <laughs> big pennies. He can't even spell it well. I saw big pennies. <laughs> And big bottles. <laughs> but we're in tough times. I I I am in I'm in tough times. Like you know you're in tough times when now you cannot just send somebody you can't surprise people anymore, right? Like before you send somebody mobile money as a surprise, you have to call them. Say, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, One day I was in church eh, and the pastor said, prophesy into your life. And you know those prophecies that people prophesy, oh, I, I, I prophesy into my life that I'll travel to the UK. I prophesy. One guy came to prophesy and said, I prophesy that this house that I'm living in, inshallah, I will buy it. And then his landlord saw it. Then the landlord came to reply, inshallah. You will leave this house. I'm telling you, we are in tough times. See, our president, that is how I knew we were in tough times. When our president, during the campaign, the 2020 campaign, instead of campaigning for his member, <laughs> campaigned for another person. Did you hear it? Nana for Moto Mami, Nana, and the Dampa, and Kufuadu. Namoto, Ama. Nilante Vandapo. And I said, you can do a bad man. Yeah. Man can be a bra. Man wa from Basa Basa. Now Vandapo is here. Me de de ya de. It's not no can be here. And at the point, I feel like we can all employ it in our lives, right? Like you are with your girlfriend, you know ladies hate it when you mention another lady's name, right? Yeah. Like your name is success, huh? Eh? And then maybe I'm with you, and like, yeah, take it, babe. take it, 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 take Man, can you hear? We are in tough times. I feel like we are, we are suffering. We are suffering. I, and, and, and any of you watching the Olympics? Yeah. You know, Ghana won one bronze medal and we cannot stop talking about it. <laughs> Have you guys realized we, we won one bronze medal? And even that guy, Grant, he lost his last battle. Like, yes, Ghana, he won. And we gave him $3,000. 
for winning one gold medal and a bronze for the whole country. I mean, like, I've been watching it and I feel like we are we are underutilizing our people. We have a lot of sprinters in Ghana. Hello. Hi. You want to know how many sprinters we have in Ghana? Buying sachet water in Trotro. <laughs> and instead of giving the vendor the money, let the driver move <laughs> and see speed. They can chase you from Kaswa to win but <laughs> Once you don't go by the phone. Hey, Marathon, we, we can go. He said, boss, what am I going to do? I'm 50 pesos. I'm just saying, man. I've been watching the Olympics. I, I love the Olympics for, for the fact that they have track events and then they have field events. You know, the track events are the 100 meters, you know, the sprinters. But I like the field events. Let me tell you why I like the field events. You know, they have the short parts, right? You, you put the, the metal here, then you throw. They have discus. You throw, and then they have hammer through. They have javelin, you know? All of these people, these uh, field events, I don't know, so, but have you realized that any time they throw, they go, mm. <laughs> then they fall into a shot. Yeah! Have you realized it? Any time, even the hammer throw. <laughs> Dude, why are you shouting? You think the shout will influence your throat? It's all in your muscles. Like if we all employ this kind of strategy in our workplaces, like your doctor finishes attending to you, oh, your, your, your disease is coco <laughs> Your pastor is preaching that today, uh, I've, I've told you about the salvation crisis coming with, and so let's prepare to give up. <laughs> you run. Your banker says, okay, so this is your... <laughs> I feel like only porn stars are allowed to do that, right? Yeah, you are. <laughs> and then I watch Nigerians, I mean, man, Nigerians now have a bit of noise. Yeah. I love Nigerians, man. You guys are awesome. You guys, oh, no, you, sincerely, man. And I'm going to talk to Nigerians here. Hello, Nigerians. Yeah. Yo, big up you. See, you guys feel like you can change the status quo. <laughs> Did you watch the mixed relay? Yes. You know, mixed relay is when men and women run together, right? Usually, hello, hello. Usually for the mixed relay, this is what happens. Men run with women, but it's equal. Maybe Germany has four, two men, two men, Nigeria, two men, two men. And this is how they plan it. Usually they put the first man in front, then they, two, they put two men in the middle, and then they put the last man at the end. Because they know strength. Yeah. Nigerians. <laughs> Nigerians are oh, 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 we oh, 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 uh -uh. That was when the man was running with women. Yeah. And so, oh, there was God. I uh -uh, see God. Uh -uh, Nigeria did chop first. Nah. Uh -uh, Nigeria, Nigeria never did carry last. Nah. Uh -uh. And then they changed to the final woman. It was, ah, see God, we don't need go. Nah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Second, nah. Oh, no. Third, nah. Fourth, uh -uh. You don't chop last time. And I'm like, you chop last because it didn't follow. I love Nigerians. And I'll always say, because like Nigerians have taken over TikTok. They bring us challenges. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. They have the you remember the do do care challenge? Yeah. There, there's some beautiful song sung by Siri, right? Yeah. And I love you, I love you, do do care, do care. I love you, I want you fly away. Oh my god. Song. I don't know that, but I know the song. So, yeah, it's hardly written. Um, I don't know you two know what this was. Yeah. No, but you know, they, 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 I, mean, I love it. It was for pregnant women. So you see a pregnant woman say, do, do, yeah, do. beautiful. It was so lovely until I saw the people, other people joining the challenge. You know, the former musical boss, Obo. <laughs> 
He has just a challenge doing doing doing. So what of you are doing? Let me tell you something. You know, hello. You know, as a guy, you have a big stomach. If you're studying, you're studying. I'm going to say it. You're studying. Is the white elephant in the room, and we talk about it. You know, as a guy, you have a big stomach. When you are taking a picture, you know, usually the photographer tells you and gives you instructions and says, boss, this thing, okay, okay. You would rather give the photographer instructions because you have held your breath. You know that, like, <gasps> boss, I better hurry up, boy. I know the feel pretty if you go feel hurry up. You want me to die for you, yeah, I bet. I breathe in the world, you feel like, ah. <laughs> and then they roll out the stomach, yeah, yeah. Uh uh, one kid in the Oh, fat Thomas. But I'm still talking about pictures. Nigerians, man. They have a song. A song called. And when they bring the song, they bring a dance to it. And you have to join it, whether you like it or not. DJ, find me Sopi and is it around? Yeah. You, you guys know that song? Yeah. Sopi is for. Um, how do I explain it to you, Christians? Um, um, uh, it's for handsome. It's for handsome. So, it's like, you know, it's for handsome. It's for handsome. You know, when you take things with your own hands. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, when, when it grows, you know, <laughs> like, when, yeah, when a guy wants to express self love for himself, you know? yeah, usually some guys don't use anything, they do, you know. So you get what I'm talking about, right? So Nigeria, when they say sobi, they mean like masturbation, you know, checking out. And that's in the song. Do sobi, sobi. Can you give me, and it has a dance. Can you give me the song? My goodness, DJ is, uh, has been cut off. And that fucks up my joke so good. <laughs> you have, you have now, you have now? Mm. Can you give me do so, can you, you know? Uh -huh. Ladies, let me tell you something. You can tell the length of a guy's penis by how he dances his soapy. Hello? <laughs> so if you see one guy dancing just soapy, soapy. <laughs> it is just like two centimeters long. But if you see somebody dancing just just soapy, soapy. Can you give me just soapy? Just soapy, soapy. Oh my goodness. You should see how I dance my soapy. Hello? Hello? When I'm about to dance my soap, I roll it out like a carpet. Hello. <laughs> First of all, I take a pose. <laughs> I open my zip and <laughs> so I I, I I pull it like a sh like a ship. Just so please so and the people behind are like, can you give me just so <laughs> just so oh my goodness and then I roll it back. You know? I thought it was cool until I saw a friend of mine, you know, dancing the soap. But how he was dancing his, it was crazy. You know, he, the song was playing Joe Sopi Sopi, and he was dancing like, can you give me Joe Sopi? Can you give me Joe Sopi? Joe Sopi Sopi. It's Aumia. I thought was, why are you dancing from this? I said, oh, mine is in. You know what I'm talking about, right? That one that has done Nike. That person that has done Nike, you know? It has done this. So he has to approve it. That's usually a project for can you give me just so can you give me just so <laughs> you know those Nike people I remember I was in the I was in the washroom right I was peeing in my bowl and then a friend of mine too came to pee in his bowl I'm not going to mention his name Lexi so when <laughs> when we were peeing I was peeing in my bowl Lexi too was peeing in his bowl but his pee was coming into my bowl <laughs> I said, ah, let's see, you have it. I said, oh, sorry, that's actually, I can't tell you. <laughs> he had to redirect his penis. That's the Nike. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, you have a, this place is really cold, right? So, and here they have air conditions everywhere. I went to the washroom, and I'm not going to mention this guy's name, but he's here. <laughs> Ali. When we were there, <laughs> we're all peeing. You know, guys, when guys are peeing, sometimes we survey and see whether the guy has more than you, right? And so we are peeing, Ali, Ali looked at me like, well, yeah, it's the air condition, okay? <laughs> it's the air condition, man. When, when, when blood comes in, it's just... <laughs> I never been... Let me talk to guys. 
Have you ever been in the washroom, right? You'll be minding your own business peeing. And then, I don't know what happens, but you, you, you just glance at one guy, and then you glance at him like, you're peeing. <laughs> <laughs> those guys, those guys, when they finish, they don't just do this. They, they, they sprinkle like it's amazing, right? Before they roll it back. It's tough. I, like I'm saying, man, I like Nigerians. Like now, they have a dance for everything. Now they have a, a dance for beggars. Like they, they've combined three, three dances, eh? One is the one that tells you that, give me money. You know, like baby. <laughs> give me money. <laughs> what are you using them for? To eat. <laughs> are you realizing? Like, I better mean, give me money. I want to. Or people can okay. You know, I love it. I mean, and you see poor people dancing to it. Rich men will also be dancing. Hey. Poor people will bring you to their level for you to dance with them. I always say that you cannot. Hello, you see? Focus, okay? When you are done, you can go and like you, okay? But who is paying for the water? I don't know. <laughs> Rosie's tie and remember every shit. You only say that. Yeah. I swear I forgot my joke. <laughs> no, but I'm still talking about Nigerians. I'm saying, any Nigerian man here, please raise your hand. Oh, come on. Uh huh. We are done? No, okay. Okay, good. You can never control a Nigerian man. If he was going to do something, and you come and say, "Wait, well, he will do it," say, "Ah, oh, oh, on a on a point, it's true." There are something they say, "Ta, true." Oh, come and teach me what to do. You can never control a Nigerian man until you promise him money. That's one then you can control him. That is when you hear you hear a voice like, "This is Big Brother." White money, freeze. <laughs> An evil man like white money, you be going to <laughs> when you when you promise a man, Nigerian man money, he will do anything. You see white money? He's my favorite in the big brother. Yo, yeah. make some noise for that guy, man. I feel like that guy is the, the best content giver in the house, right? You know, he cooks for them. White money is the kind of guy that if he ever comes out of the house, okay? And then he opens a restaurant. I would want to eat in the restaurant. Because everybody in the house loves his food, right? And when you look at him, he represents the food he eats, right? No, I hate slave people who cook. Yeah, I like you. I want to see that you eat what you cook for me, right? And you see that guy, you know, and then my other favorite person, my other favorite person is Angel. Oh my god. Oh, that girl is awesome in the house. You know, I didn't know about her. And then I went on Twitter, she was trending. People were like, ah, and they were body shaming her. Oh Angel has fallen boobs. Angel has fallen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it said, Angel has fallen. Well, Nipples has fallen. Angel is falling. And I went to see her. Angel's boobs are not back. <laughs> Those are some of the boobs some of us guys like, hello. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I like boobs. That have a little work experience, right? <laughs> you know? Those kind of boobs that are humble. You, know, you get me, guys? Those kind of boobs that you raise, you see a little sweat under his hair. I hate arrogant boobs. <laughs> That's not the way you take on your journey. You tell you. You uh, Big Brother, and you do a show in Ghana called the Big Brethren. <laughs> Let me tell you about Big Brethren when they started in Ghana. Now, Big Brad, Big Brad, the guy went to hide a two-bedroom at Typha, okay? Typha, what up for Typha, around that place. And it, it has a porch, so that the, the members in the house can go out for fresh air, sometimes. Okay? Now, in the two-bedroom, Big Brad, Big Brad had one room. Hello? So, Big Brad, sleep.
Thank you so 